We're going to be making a wonderful Sicilian-inspired pasta. This is Laura Kasai's pasta. I have tried this before. It is delicious. It is, it is. So it is what the Sicilians would call pasta con le sardine, so basically pasta with sardines. Mm -hmm. um, we've got lots and lots going on. So I guess the first thing that you do is to chop up some fennel and some tomato. Sure thing. I'll and get to that. dice them up. And I'm going to start frying off some things over here. And do you want me to keep these fennel fronds yes, for a garnish please. later? We okay. will definitely use them. Mm -hmm. So we've got two pans over here, lots of olive oil in both. Mm -hmm. I'm going to fry off some breadcrumbs and then I'm also going to start frying off the onions as well. So the breadcrumbs, would that go for a textural element in this pasta dish? It is, and also because back in the olden days when a lot of people couldn't afford to use parm uh, parmesan cheese, mm -hmm. they would toast off uh, stale bread mm. and it would give it that nice salty flavour and that real nice kind of texture, which is yeah. really cool. Yeah. Didn't know that. So we're just finely chopping that fennel. Yes, please. And then you um, can add it pretty much straight into the pan. Sure can. Great, thank you. Now these breadcrumbs will need a lot of oil. They're nice and toasty. Mm. And it smells so good in here already, just with that fennel and onion combination. Yummo. It is good. Uh, the tomatoes as yes. well get you on too. I'll just sure. slice up some garlic and pop that in. Mm -hmm. And you've got Italian background. Um, yes. Is your family from Sicily? Yes, so my nonna is from Sicily. Uh -huh. So that's where I kind of get, obviously, the Sicilian inspiration from. Sure. Sicilian food is very interesting for its differences. In the one whole dish, you've got the sweet, crunchy, salty, super chilly sometimes. Yep. It's definitely not boring cuisine at no, all. No, it's not. <laughs> it's, and it's very uh, Mediterranean, Moroccan inspired yeah. as well. Yep. So I'm going to add some garlic into this mm -hmm. and all we want to do with this onion and fennel mixture is basically sweat it down and get it really really nice and yep. soft before we add anything else in. Great. So our onions and fennel sweat it down really yep. nicely. We've got some lovely colour. Mm. Would you like to add in the tomatoes and the tomato paste? Sure can. I'm going to give them a squeeze Beautiful. too. Get Thank all the you. juices out. And in they go. Thank you. And tomato paste. Yes, please. Thank you very much. I and see you've got some saffron here I too do. and a little bit of water. Yep. Woo! Strong, isn't it? It's very, very <laughs> strong. But we also want that liquid as well, so yeah. that can go in. And you'll see the colour change straight away. Yeah. Stunning, thank cool. you. And then those anchovies, maybe just give them a rough chop. Sure, so there's there's quite a lot of anchovies here, but you, you do want it for, for the saltiness. We yeah? do, yeah. absolutely. So you already see that whole sauce is transforming into a deep orange, beautiful colour. And by chopping them like this, you're almost pureeing this, so it literally dissolves into the sauce. There we go. Thank you. So we'll leave this for about five to eight minutes mm -hmm. and just let it soften up again. Yeah. And cook that tomato out, yeah. and then I reckon we can get onto the pasta and sardine. These sardines, we've just filleted them. Yep. We've just taken the bone completely out of them and that's just so nice. You can also get your fishmonger sometimes to do it. Beautiful. So I've got lots of olive oil in my little fry pan here. Sardines will go straight in, skin side down, into the pan. Thank you. And that'll be plenty to start with. Yeah. You only need a few per person because they are quite oily and rich. They are. And just a little bit of salt and some pepper. And I'm going to put these raisins in now, so just a small little handful. Alright, so straight into... Straight in. yep. And if a little bit of water goes in, even better. Absolutely. <laughs> and I'm just going to toss that. Beautiful. I'm just going to make a big monster nest. <laughs> and I'm going to lift it up. Beautiful. And put him in the middle there. And you can't forget about some of this yummy sauce. I'm just going to get a big spoonful of it. Pop Beautiful. it on top. Ooh, yeah. Lovely. And I'll heat you up with some sardines. Mm -hmm. Let's pop maybe three on there. Yeah. We just need a bit of breadcrumb. Like you said, the poor man's 
Parmesan. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. So a lot of salt went into that, so obviously we're getting that Parmesan-like flavour. Mm -hmm. And some beautiful fresh chopped parsley. Yeah, just put a little bit of that on there, keep it quite rough. And then just a few little of those cute fronds on top. Beautiful. That is a very pretty dish. Thank you. Thank you for your help. You know what? It was worth it because <laughs> all of those flavours are really magical. That's a taste of Sicily right there. Thank you.